I'm guys Phil here again today. Um, I was working on that net, and uh, I added two more uh, two more needles full of uh, line for it, and I got this much. And uh, that ought to be more than enough to uh, incorporate into this springy trap. Now, if this springy trap was to go off with this net in it, it's cocked back like this. When it goes off, it should, you know, be plenty of net. So, but what I want to do is take another piece and bend it into an arch to, uh, allow this when it closes <clears throat> to still have enough room to where this will be tied into the net somewhere like this and when you cock them back you'll cock them both back one will go forward all the way but this one will raise up like that and it'll make kind of a little dome and that's what I'm going to try to do today so, all right stick with me guys Alright guys, finally after like a long time, <laughs> I rebuilt the whole thing. Uh, I ended up getting the tension too tight on one of the deals and it uh, broke so I had to get a, uh, you know, I went with all new string and everything. But uh, what I got now is this. Got my net secured. Of course, the net was a little too big in spots, so I just bunched it up around. But uh, it ought to work pretty good. Fold that back like that. Kind of push this net back out of the way like that. Fold my shawls over just the same way. Got this tied off so it don't go nowhere. And then into the little pig. I figured I could bait that with peanut butter or something or for a squirrel or a, you know seed put seeds in there and you could put a little tea like that on there maybe a bird would perch up on that or something and put seed in there but let's see if that get if it comes in there bam he caught <laughs> so I'm gonna set this up tonight and see if I can't catch one of them squirrels in the morning that'd be funny all right, guys. <laughs> Later.
<laughs> Got it.